Hello Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, we're going to be having a look at some messages for you uh, and we'll see the current energies, where you're at, uh, where your romantic interest might be at as well. Um, and we'll see what the cards can reveal in regards to your current situation. So please be aware this can be for all Water Signs watching and also to the cross watchers who are dealing with a Water Sign. This may be relevant for you. Okay, let's have a look. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is going on with your current energy right now? Okay, water signs, there is a beautiful new chapter that's coming up around you, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and this is representing itself as the Ace of Cups. So what we have here is a brand new beginning. It may be a new connection, a new person, a transformation. Um, it could even be patching things up with an X. Oftentimes, the Ace of Cups can point to rebirth because we see the cleansing of the water. So this is about maybe fixing a situation, um, giving someone a second chance, or maybe giving a new person um, a chance here as well. You have the sign of Leo that has come up. So for some of you, it can be a destined Leo, uh, someone who is the Queen of Wands. However, they're representing themselves and this person is coming forward. Now, I feel like what's happening here, because you're governed by the Ace of Cups energy, there is a, a heightened emotional energy around you, okay? Especially around you or your person. The Queen of Wands sits in the middle, so it can indicate there's like a bit of a power. Someone may want to have power over you, control over you. Maybe someone is still possessive over you. Uh, water signs, maybe you still feel possessive over someone. And maybe you thought you were going to have a future with this person that we see the Ten of Cups. This is the card of happily ever after. Um, maybe you have children with this person or you envisioned yourself to have this family dynamic. Um, and you know, the Queen of Wands likes to like dig in her claws to a situation. She doesn't like to let go. So for some of you, there may be a struggle or something that you're uh, still sort of hanging on to. The good news is, is that we have the Nine of Swords. Now the Nine is about an ending. Some of you may have recently ended something with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This card is reversed, which would indicate you're coming out of a phase of feeling sad or lonely about the situation. You're possibly no longer stressing about this person. You might not even be thinking about them. Um, there may be an epiphany of sorts. Maybe you, you know, this... Uh, it may be hard to hear for some of you, but for, for others, I feel like if this card is coming up reversed, you're actually coming into a better kind of energy, a more vibrant kind of energy. If this card was upright, it could very well indicate that, you know, you're going through some tough times, but it's coming up reversed. So some of you are sort of dealing or coping with an ending. Um, mentally, okay, mentally it's reversed, which, which can point to a good thing, but... You know, you've got the Knight of Cups reversed. Um, and I feel like right now you're not wanting to make any sort of emotional move. Um, it's either you're hung up about this person, so you're not ready to date, you're not ready to get out there, you're not ready to be, you know, to open up your heart right now. Um, but it can, the Knight of Cups reversed can also indicate that emotionally you're not feeling yourself right now. You're not wanting to take any steps forward. There may be people asking you out. And, you know, you are approaching this new chapter, which is fantastic. But for some of you, with this reversal, you are the Knight of Cups. You do represent this, this um, chivalrous figure here holding a cup of water. This is you. And normally when it's upright, it is about going on to the next thing, dating the next person, you know, going on to the next phase of a relationship. But interestingly, it's reversed. So it can indicate that. Right now, you're not wanting to take a step forward in any sort of romantic aspect. You're either happy to stay still or you even want to go backwards. Some of you, there can be someone going back on their word. Some of you might be reversing. Some of you might be having second thoughts. Uh, listen to your emotions and, and, and be aware of what it is that you're feeling. Um, because, you know, we have some contrasting cards and obviously this is going to apply to everyone watching and we're all in such... Um, such different situations here so that's no surprise but listen to the messages uh your inner your inner guide is telling you whatever it is that you believe in your consciousness your higher self 
um, you know, that, that little voice inside your head is trying to tell you something. And that's symbolized by the bird here. Now, the bird is a message. So for some of you, there's either a message from someone new, a message from someone from the past, a message from the universe or a physical message, a text, an email that is coming your way. Um, and it's coming from someone who wants you to hear a message. Um, you know, a lot of us, we do believe in this higher power and this higher power is personified by the hand that you see here. And what this hand could be saying is this is the hand of God. And, you know, we can call it fate. We can call it predestiny. We can call it the universe, spirit guides, chance, whatever this is, it's putting something in your path here. And I think there's a message here for you to be attentive and for you to listen to that. Um, your ego might be getting the better of you right now, water signs. You're in this emotional turmoil, some of you. And like I said, the queen of wands sits in the middle of the spread here. And this can be about being, you're trying to be strong about a situation maybe with the queen of wands. Um, but there could be still an attachment that lingers that you're maybe trying to fight off. And some of you might be letting ego, like ego energy get the better of you so you're either coming across as someone quite egotistical maybe your person is you're not coming across as maybe the emotional soul you really are water signs the kind sweet caring person you are you might be putting on a bit of a cold front or you might be either showing off a little bit um, maybe you know ego is involved for one reason or another but you're not being yourself something is not letting you be your normal true natured self and then we have this, this side coming out. This could be a possessive or a jealous side coming out. The Queen of Wands is noted as this sort of jealous type. Okay, she's, she's superstitious, she's paranoid, she may have trust issues. So these sorts of things could be coming up in your current energy. Um, but what I want to say is that you will be able to work through these issues because the tide will change. You've got the nine and you've got a one. So this is an ending and a new beginning. Some of you are ending a relationship and starting a new one right away. Um, and there's a lot of fulfillment with the ten of uh, cups. But happiness is coming. So whichever way it's destined to come your way, whether it's through a new and beautiful connection, whether it's reviving an old connection, giving someone a second chance, you know, you've got the rainbow in the sky, but the rainbow doesn't come out uh, until it, you know, after it storms. So know that whatever hurdles you're going through now, there's light at the end of the tunnel and you are being protected, um, you know, and you are given this, this, this chance, this opportunity, this new chapter that I feel is destined to be in your path, water signs. So um, that's refreshing. Let's, let's leave that on a positive note here. Um, and hopefully that has resonated with everyone watching. So thank you again so, so much. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get updates for when readings for your sign and your element are posted to the channel. Um, otherwise, if you would like a private reading with me, please feel free to be in touch. I really do appreciate all your support, Water Signs. So thank you so, so much for tuning in. And until next time, bye for now.